here, baby. You're hitting them corners too goddamn fast. You need to slow this motherfucker down. You understand? I almost spilled my yak on this $200 suit, nigga. Come on, baby, get it together. Hey. Yeah, whatever, motherfucker. What a time, my damies. It's your boy, my toys from the Shoot from the Hip show. And it's this boy, D. Reese, from the Shoot from the Hip show. And uh, we back, man. Back real quick. Short turnaround. Short turnaround, man. We don't get to do these this quick, man. But when, when the time prevails, we got to jump on in there, dog. There it is. There it is, man. So uh, uh, I got the joke, man. Let's go. I'm prepared this time. You sure about that? Show sure, man. I promise not to try and answer this fully. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I wish you would, though. All right. Um, what do you call a fish with no eyes? Uh, let's see. Hmm. A fish with no eyes, I'd probably call uh, a Ray Charles fish. Fish. <laughs> 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 but dude, ching up in there, man. <laughs> okay, all right, that's gonna work right hey, there. Take that one with you to the party, man. Yeah, take that one with you to the party, man. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, so we back up in this thing. Short turnaround, just like he said. Yeah, Let's get a gunshot. Now nah, it's official. That's what we was waiting on, man. That's all we was waiting on the gunshot. What it's- you sipping on, man? Called Fefe. A cold Fefe. Yeah, I'm going to the gym once you leave. Okay. Yeah, I thought about starting, just starting to go and get fucked up on my day off. Nah, I said, nah. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, well, as soon right, as I come back that. from the gym, mm-hmm. I'm indulging some stogie. That's how you're supposed some to do it. Whiskey and some beer. That's what you're supposed to do. That's going to happen. Might even fly that drone this time and not crash it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. At least don't let me crash it like I did the BYTs, allegedly. Yeah. Yeah. What he said. Yeah, I hear him. All right, so uh, last time uh, we were in studio or uh, in my house. <laughs> I had just came back from the Texas game. D Montoya's a little down on him. Yeah, man, it was rough. It was rough. Uh, however, <laughs> I had a good motherfucking time at yeah, the Texas you did. game. Hey, yeah, you, you did go to the game. I did. And which I don't even did I bring that up on the last show? I don't recall. So yeah, he he was a little down because they lost, and I had actually just went to the game. Maybe I brought it up. I think because I said, well, me and Fliggity went. Uh, Flood Leon. Yeah, yeah, I call him Fliggity. Y'all call him Flood Leon. Whichever one works. Yeah, well, it don't work for outsiders, apparently. Yeah, I know. We right? ain't doing that no more. So, yeah, that happened, man. He didn't want to even walk around the thing and enjoy none of the tailgating and shit like that. Hey, man, you got to get that in at you least. You got to. You got to get that in. But they I got walk around, slacked at home. It's rough to enjoy anything. I cigar smoke everywhere. People behind me <laughs> coughing. <and> t- <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, man, that's what we out here he for. He was out here disrespectful. Disrespectful. Man. Out of line, dog. I ain't right. give a fuck. Why you going to be like that? I wouldn't root for nothing going on up in there. Yeah, apparently. Nah, I'm playing. I wouldn't root for him to lose. I mean, I was rooting for him. I don't know, man. Listen, again, for everybody. Your fandom is, is in question. It's not in question. I don't hate him. I don't even I didn't even start barking at everybody when they lost. I mean, I, I gave my opinion about it. Yeah. I wasn't like, ooh, I told you they lost. I, I mean that's that's not why I switched teams to do that. I yeah. just don't fuck with the team the franchise. Like right, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I mean I'm not I wasn't kicking you while you was down. No, nobody said none of that. No, I'm just saying. So for every, anybody that around here, you know, if they would have won, they would just won. I'd nobody been said none y'all. of that, dog. I oh, never boy, accused hey, you of none of that. Them cowgirl fans, oh, they had a field day they, on Facebook. They are 
insufferable. And, and I just don't understand. Again, <laughs> you live here. Yeah. It's like we living in the same house. I made good grades. You didn't. Yeah. Mama bought me some. She didn't buy you shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, nigga, come on, man. But you know, that's how siblings do, though. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah, they, they, the Cowboy I fans, I dealt mainly with them too. the ones here, in, well, matter of fact, I'll say all of them that live here and that are born and raised here, they had a field day on social media because they Cowboys won. Yeah. The, the team in Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make no sense to no me. No sense. Uh, my wife went to the game. She had a good time. Uh, so they celebrating for this week. Uh, I don't think that's going to transfer over to next week. No, we shall see. Never Man, know. In Dak, we trust. Cause, oh, speaking of that, yeah. we need to go over our picks. Hey, y'all, I was finna bring that up when you finished your, 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 okay. your Texas thing. Okay, so anyway. Uh, it, uh, foreshadowing, you kicked my ass on this one. Of course. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and now we got to discuss points. I think I, I, said, we, I said each game in the first round goes by one, second round two. All right. And so on. Well, nigga, I don't I, I might have got one right. I think so. Just thinking right offhand. But I mean I'm, son of a bitch. Sports is what I do, baby. Hey man. You know, I can play the audio. Play it. Well, we can go ahead and play it. Get, you know, get the audio ready. Hold on, we need some pen and paper so I can write the shit now. All right. So when you get done, you just stop it and we'll go to Oh, you go, we got it. All right. Let me get, get some pen and paper out here. All right, man. So I post a video up so we can have video evidence. And Cash Chime being damn, Mark, that was KC from, from the ATL. <laughs> he said, damn, Mark. <laughs> yeah, we can, he kicked your ass this week. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. I stepped, stepped out there on Facebook. Hey man, listen, dog. Betting with my heart, man. Hey, you better leave that shit alone. You better quit doing that, dog. Hey man, dog. It makes it that much sweeter when it comes out there. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Okay. Hey, works for you. Hey, well, it it work. As I'm scrolling, man, I passed by this posting you did uh, that I did. Yeah, with the the degrees of cooked steak. Okay. And uh, we got a couple of entries here, and it almost went down the line. Uh, white nigga, no white, <laughs> black, and nigga. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't like a well done state. I don't either. I'm out of that business. Uh, I live too good to be in well done state. Yeah, I quit doing that a long time ago. All right. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. Let me... All right. Here we go. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's the Montoya's and. Represent the shoot from the hip show, and we're gonna do our playoff picks before we record because we're gonna record after the game. So, of course, we got to get it out the way. All right. All right, so we're going Texans versus Colts. Of course, I'm going Texas. D Reese is going to Colts, ultimate hater. <laughs> Seahawks versus Dallas. We're both going Seahawks on that one. Chicago versus Philly. I'm going the shy. Reese is going Philly. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Chargers versus Baltimore. Reese is going Chargers. I'm going Baltimore with that beautiful black quarterback. <laughs> anyway, man, peace out. <laughs> All right, dog. <laughs> hey, I couldn't keep up with myself on that. And I know I don't talk that fast. All right, we Seahawks versus Dallas is the one we both went Seahawks on. Yeah. All right, so. That's a cross side. You got the Colts versus Texas when you picked the Colts. Mm. Chicago versus Philly. You picked Philly. Facts, B. You picked Philly or I picked Philly? I picked Philly. No, you didn't. The only one you – wait. You picked – I picked Philly. I you picked, picked Chicago. Chicago. You yeah, picked Chicago. Picked Chicago. That's right. Baltimore, I know I picked that. Who they lose to? The Chargers? Yep. Yeah. So that does that, huh? Yeah, dog. I didn't get shit right. No, you got one right. No. I know you picked Chicago. Yeah. You picked the Texans. Yeah. And you I picked, picked Seahawks. Uh, and oh, Baltimore. Oh, okay. I didn't get shit right. You didn't get shit right. So you went 0-4. I went 3-1. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, this ain't looking good for the good guy over here. At all. Damn. So you went 3-1. and one, So you got three points out of that. Yeah. And I got zero. You got zero. All right. You can make up for it. Yeah, well, what we got coming up this week? What the schedule looking like? That's the plan, anyway. Right now, you got three points. 
So my goose egg. All right, man. So you ain't got it pulled up over there? No. Nah, All right, well, let me get to it then, man. NFL playoff schedule. All right, let's, let's see where we at here. See how blazing fast this internet is. Man, that shit go hard, nigga. Hey, man, it go somewhere. All right. Divisional round is going to be the Colts versus the Chiefs. The Colts versus the Chiefs? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Let me see. I am going to go. Let's see. Man. <laughs> yeah. It's a rough one, dog. This is a hard one. I think I'm going to go. I'm, I'm rude for Andy Reid more than anything. Man. Yeah. He's a, he's a QB guru. Yeah. He is that. So I think I'm going to go. And, and I'm going to go. I think next year the Colts will be a force to be reckoned with. But I, I I I don't I don't see uh, the Chiefs making the same mistake that the Texans did. I think they had a week to look at so them. Going so Chiefs. I'm going Chiefs. All right. And it's hard for me to root against that beautiful half black ass quarterback. Yeah, you good? You said half. <laughs> now I tell you what, if you listen to him, does he sound black? No, exactly. No. Okay. But so what, man? I know a lot of people like that. That don't count. Nah, not many. Not like that. Man, come on, man. I'm, I'm not going man, there. With he you. sound damn near like Philip Rivers, man. Nah, I wouldn't give him that. But yeah, I'm going Chiefs too, man. Just you know, get past the BS. All right. Um, Patriots. Ne- next one is going to be, I guess we we'll go Patriots Chargers. No, Patriots. no, because the next game on Saturday is going to be Cowboys and Rams. Cowboys and Rams. Yeah, I'm going Rams. Yeah, I'm going Rams. Look, we gonna have to differentiate somewhere. No, we here. don't. I'm I got to make ground on this vest. I ain't, I'm going. I'm going with. I'm up. Hold on. Let me, let me take a look, man. Ah right, man, every five in my being does not want to go for the Cowboys. Nah, don't do it. We got two more games to pick, choose from. Don't do it. Man. You can make up for it in later weeks, too. Man. We might not agree. Yeah, fuck it. Man. I'm going Rams on that. Hey, no shade to Dallas, even though I be shading Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. The next is going to be the Chargers versus the Patriots. They playing in Foxborough? Yep. Going past, dog. There you go. Going past. Why? Because, man, it's just hard to fuck with up there. Okay. I'm going Chargers. Uh, this is the decline. There's a wall that Max Kellerman of ESPN first take been saying. Uh, I, I know Brady isn't as good as he used to be to carry the team on his own. And the team, per se, is never really that strong at other positions other than the head coach and the quarterback. Uh, Grunk is he's not he's just another guy right now. Yeah, he's not the same. Grunk. He's not the same Grunk. He's ready uh, to quit last year. Yeah, he always ready to quit so he can go do something else goofy instead of playing football. But I'm going to go the Chargers. They got a black head coach, and I'm rooting for that guy. Oh, He's oh the, what? Yeah. Okay. Don't change. Don't change. Uh-oh. Yeah. Look at him. All right, man. The next game, Eagles versus Saints. Eagles versus the Saints. Uh, in the dome. In the dome. Hard place to win. It is. I'm, I'm, you and I have been there at the same time. Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty rough place to play. Hey, it's a... Uh, there's an aura in You want me this. to make that chip, that, that that pick first? Um, I'm going Saints. Yeah, me too. <laughs> they barely got past the Bears. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Saints it is. The only one we differ on is the Pats and Chargers. Mm, I got the Chargers. Nigga. Nigga. This ain't looking good for me, Man, dog. you good, dog. Hey, man. I don't like this. I don't like how this look. I'm going to make, I'm have to do something different, dog. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm lose. changing one. No? I'm changing one, dog. Fuck that. Hmm. And the only one I change is the Chiefs. Okay. I'm going Colts. There you go. I'm going Colts. You talking about that white quarterback, the one that beat Deshaun Watson last week? <laughs> yeah. I don't care how you try to poke that knife in me and twist the handle, dog. I saw it, and I'll take it for what it is. Them boys got hot at the right time, and they are there. And they look for real to me. All right. So man. there it is. All right. There y'all go, man. Those yeah. are the picks from the Shoot From the Hip show. Uh, D. Montoya had to buy me a drink last year. He will be buying me another one this year. Man, look here. Yeah, I, I can't even wait up. to return the favor. Mm. Woo. I'm, I'm going to order a trip or something on your ass. Oh, uh, that what you want? No, nah, I'm just well, You tripping. got some work to do, I'm then. tripping. Uh, so while we were doing that, <laughs> yeah. uh, we have a review, a new review to the show. We appreciate that review. Yeah, we man. Shout you out. to review the show and share the show. Uh, this comes from E.R. Bizzle, Blizzle, 206. Uh, the Real is back. This podcast is great from in, from the intro to the topics and the host audience interactions. 
And there Word. is an emoji there with a black hand, a black emoji. That's right. Yeah. Power to the people. Yeah. To the what? The people. There you go. There it is, man. No, we hey. appreciate that. Appreciate that review. Thank you for being part of the show. Big time. Keep that coming. Yeah, keep that coming. Uh, the rest of y'all need to follow suit. Uh, yeah, this yeah. This is the Shoot yeah. From the Hip show. Shootfromthehip.xyz is the website. And there's a donate button if you want to do that. Yeah, we prefer the kind of fold. Yeah. Somebody turn to your neighbor. Come on, neighbor. And say, uh, <laughs> we like the kind of jingle. Yeah. But we prefer the kind of fold. So you, you went you worked out today or you did your walk or whatever you Yeah, did? man, because the babysitter came late. Oh yeah. So I couldn't she really black. Yeah. <laughs> Well you had that land in the in the in the, in the slot. I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, okay. Well anyway, she came later than I expected. So I was ready <laughs> to hit the gym. And then she she I looked at the clock, she still wasn't here and I was getting hungry. And I'm not working out on no full stomach. Yeah, me neither. That's but why uh, I'm drinking coffee because I'm going. She here. she showed up somewhere around nine forty five, and right at nine thirty, I said, "Fuck it, I'm finna start eating." <clears throat> and so, I, yeah, I just ate and uh, took my little walk, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, the my toy is he got a trail that he likes to walk or run or sprint, whatever he does. Yeah, man. And he he love it. He dig it. It's a beautiful. Uh, the last oh, was it Monday? It wasn't Monday. It was it was a Sunday or a weekend, Saturday something. I hit that trail, man, and it was so populated. Yeah. Oh man, people was <laughs> out there. Some of, some of everything was out there. Lady thought I was coming to steal her baby. Did you? I mean, no. She she did right. She saw a black dude. Mm-hmm. Didn't know what my intentions were. Yeah. Just any dude. I say black because I am. Yeah. But any any dude that you don't know walking up on your baby that's kind of off in the distance, mm-hmm. you want to be a little protective. Yeah, and so she walked over there. And, you know, we exchanged pleasantries as I passed. But I was like, I saw you. You thought I was gonna take your little baby. Mm, you saw that shade. Yeah, I saw that shade. Yeah. Then, then it, it got progressively nicer as I kept passing him up. Yeah, beautiful day, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Why, well, yes, it is. Mm-hmm. All that kind of motherfucker. Well, shit. so me, I decided I'm gonna start working on my legs. Uh, when I'm in the gym. Yeah. I I do it sometime, but I think I'm gonna come up with a little regiment so I can yeah. stay on top. I don't want right to be on. top heavy and then have right little on. bitty legs, which I don't. I think when you when you work on your legs, it makes you look it, it just makes you look so heavy. Yeah, yeah, man. But I, <laughs> well, I think I think I want to start. It's so most my people ought to do. Yeah, you know, I work out my third leg, just not. <laughs> <laughs> but doing ting up in the other. I didn't throw. I'm gonna throw that one in there on that one. That's All right, but doing ching. Yeah. All right, so you ready to talk some news? Let's talk some news, man. Bang. All right, all right, all right. So we talking news here on the Shoot from Hip Show. And the last time we were in here, we were talking. We were going along uh, with some of the topics that we had planned to talk about. And breaking news came across the ticker said there's a, a been an arrest made in the case of Jasmine Barnes and a twist. The case and a twist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, originally, when uh, the young lady was killed, I guess her sister described what she saw. Was it the sister? Somebody. Did. I thought it was the mama did that. Okay. Well, it was a white male with a red hoodie with blue eyes, right? They were they were so descriptive about this shit. Yeah. And it's like, dog, anybody drop that amount of detail, he's a, either is a hell of a liar or that shit happened the way it went down. Yeah. Yeah. So um, anyway, uh, wind up happening. It uh, wasn't the red truck It was that they initially said. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe it wasn't a red hood. It was a red truck. And uh, two arrests were made, one by a driver and one by the shooter. Huh. Uh, the shooter, I think the, the shooter, Larry Woodruff, was uh He's the shooter, I'm sorry. And Eric Black was the driver. They both got charged with murder. Eric Black, huh? Yeah. That's a hell of a name, ain't it? That's ironic. Yeah. Uh, So anyway, but I guess Woodruff was a documented gang member, and he he, he received some lighter sentences. Let's not skip over the fact that both these dudes was black. Well, they both were black, so I was getting to that. Uh, But anyway, so both guys wound up being black. Of course, white. White white people on social media went crazy as they should. They should, but at the same time, how many times have a white woman either killed her husband or killed her kids and said a black man did it? I don't care about that. I do. I care about getting this shit right. Well, I do care about getting it right, but I don't think there should be any outrage. It happens. Well, why would you if you if because you, if you kill somebody in your house, why would you not say somebody else did it so you can send them on some other shit? Okay, that, but, that leads me to another thing I have a problem with. Okay, but initially. 
when when it was thought that it was a white dude, black people. Black people got all the black in leaders. Arms. The black leaders of the community. Oh, everybody lost their shit. Mm-hmm. You know, I ain't heard too much of nothing. No, you're not going to I since think, since it was found out. Yeah, the energy was not the same. Well, I talk about this all the time. Black people steady looking for the next shit to complain about, yeah. to whine about, to, to say that they all oh, that they go oh, again. They kill it. They just out here killing us, y'all. And some of these people that their narrative is to call out white people on some of the stuff that they do. You know that's gonna happen. The when same you, energy is not there, dog, and it's disappointing. Well, when you in that business, you need to be prepared for what comes with it. Man, that damn Jenny Walker Black looks so goddamn Nigga. good. Hey. <laughs> I'm this book is looking dead at me right now. <laughs> damn, this shit and, uh, looking good. It day the day look like it's gonna be a nice one. Is all I'm saying. Well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm holding up. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do this right. So, man, you cannot get further from. The suspect description than what they ended up with, dog. Mm-hmm. And so that leads me to believe that whoever gave that description was hiding something. Yeah. And it's I possible. I felt like mama was hiding something That's what in I that description. Well, I said that too. Yeah. I said how, how do you go that far off? I know. And how, how does this shit come, come out like this, man? Is the story still screwed up? Something still out there that's not being said, man. Yeah. They trying is. to call a mistaken identity. That's bullshit. Yeah. That's a huge mistake. Yeah. I mean, on both sides, like the the shooters, they're saying that they meant to shoot at a different car. They they, they thought that she was somebody else. Yeah. Well, it how, could be the drug payment or debt. Man, yeah, something. It could be something. They, they probably didn't expect them kids to be in there. Mm-hmm. But man, still, dog, she could have had four bricks in the car. It, yeah. <laughs> she is skating down the interstate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> skating out ten with them bricks on the left. Yeah. There you go. Hey, so, man. That that is very possible. Uh, the same energy was not kept, man. It's never gonna be. God kept, man. damn, man! That's such that's such a thumb in the nose. Of anybody that's pro black yeah. trying to stand for some shit, mm. then this shit happen. Not me. I never get involved in that stupid shit. I will. I don't either. never have an opinion on it. I think the shit is fucked up that the baby died. Of course, yeah. She was caught in the crossfire. Oh, speaking of that, dog. What? So I saw footage of the, of the funeral yesterday. I ain't watch it. I mean, I didn't watch the actual. I was watching the news. Well, you can't help but. I was watching a news report on it, and they were showing people, and they showed the mom and the daddy get up there and speak to the congregation. Mm -hmm. Amongst them clips was some unknown other lady just falling over herself. Yeah. People had to help her up, this and that. I'm like, she know them cameras in there. Yeah. And she doing that shit. The people do do that. Man, I've seen it more, more than I care to I miss. I have it. too. I, I've I was seen like, you trying to make this shit about you. This ain't got shit to do with you. They, they lay in there falling out because she know them cameras up there. She got an audience. So she gonna so people, girl, I saw you up there. And, you know, and that shit. Just, just, just like when people want to be connected with somebody dying. Oh, that was my that's, nigga. Uh, that, is that Stockholm? I don't know. No, that's not that. It's a syndrome to where you... You want sympathy. Yeah. You playing out somebody else shit. Yeah. You get sympathy for yourselves. Yeah. You know, uh, there, they, they, there is the there's something. There's, there's even yeah. a mental illness for women that often they'll beat their kids and bruise them up or make them sick so they can get sympathy for it. Like, oh, I'm just going through it again. Yeah. They want that sympathy. So she okay. might, might have been. That is right a there. thing. And I believe that is real because I've seen real. it. I've seen it too many times. And that's exactly what I was looking at on that TV I've screen. seen the TV. A woman, they because somebody knew what wasn't, wasn't right. There was a, a a camera in the room when they when they uh when they closed the door. Yeah. She either suffocated or beat the kid to get, and they seen it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, see there, that shit is it's real. Like man, hey man, you, hey, all of y'all got family members that's done this before. You, if you ever been to a funeral and you got that one, take me with you. It should have <laughs> been me. It should have been me. Take me with you. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, and hey, get them out of there, man. They are fucking up the funeral. That's I why think I don't they like should going. Just shoot them on sight and just throw their ass in the goddamn casket well, with them. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they say take me a with double you. funeral. Say, like, oh, they, well, they want to go. Man, so you know, somebody want to handle that. I was thinking about that uh, that the other day, and sometimes we out, you know, we talk about funerals, <clears> man. <throat> and they had this, this these lavish funerals in this Dallas place, man. And it was a guy he got buried in a smoker. I think that's how I want to go out, I think, man. I think you brought that up before. I want to. I mean, I think I want to get put in a smoker, man. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, actually, especially you get the good one. Get you with, good, a, with some good quality where the smoke don't seep out. Yeah, your body might stay intact a little. Good longer. quarter inch thick. Yeah, you know metal. Yeah, throw some good wood in there. Hey, man, put you put you some uh, some post oak in that bed. Hell yeah. Hey, hey man, and leave the smokestack up 
and put the headboard on it. <laughs> <laughs> the headstone. Oh, man. We getting uh, off the rails and being a little ignorant yeah. right here. Uh, Trump did a, a primetime speech last night. Yeah, man. I don't know if anybody paid attention to it. I surely enough didn't. I um, didn't either. It, according to most reports, the speech was labeled, it was pointless uh, as an insult to the nation. Uh, he went into detail about some of the more gruesome crimes by undocumented uh, immigrants. Yeah. Uh, there's data also that shows that immigrants are less likely to commit crimes. So, uh, I, to that and the government shutdown, how do you feel uh, about the just the, the wall? Or do you believe that the border protection is good the way it is? I don't, man. I don't believe that there's a, ne- a necessity for a border wall. No. Now I think I don't know what the hell Trump got going on. I don't know what that's about. He he campaigned on it. Yeah. So he definitely got to make it look like he's trying. Other than that, man, I don't care to see this man succeed. No. Now I'd like to see the government blow up, man. Really? Yeah. Well, I want the shit to start all the way over. Yeah. And then we figure this shit out. I, I, I do see. So this is the fucked up part of it. I don't. Now I don't know if I agree with the wall because I, if if it if it shows that it will help, then I'm with it. Yeah. For the government shutting down and people not getting their paychecks, no, I'm not with all that. But I am. I, I do believe that it is an emer. I, I think it's an emergency, a national emergency, and it's been going on for too long. I don't What's like, that? Well, just the the border security issue. When mm-hmm. people just coming over here undocumented, you 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 can't do. You cannot. And so you look, know, I I hear you on that. You can't I get do that, that. You, in no country. We're like we can't go anywhere, go have a baby, and stay there. You know what I'm saying? I hear that. Like you know, like county hospitals, they run out of money because they dealing with stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we got stuff like mental health issues that we need to deal with as a community. And some of that money gets moved around because you're dealing with people that shouldn't even been here in the first goddamn place. Now, yep. I, now I do believe if you're here, then you get to stay and we'll just go from there. But I don't think you should better just come here. I don't think you should better. Uh, I got into arguing with my wife about a lot of shit, but uh, especially this R. Kelly shit. But <laughs> she, I, I was, yeah. she was saying that yeah. if, if they're going to have like some set up for people when they cross then people shouldn't be dying there and i'm like no don't you cannot do that i mean once once you cross into somebody else's territory you subject to what you're subject yeah to. you get what you got coming you don't you get, cross at your own will you, you can't be like oh we got to give them we got to feed them we got to give them health care the, the the best health care ever sorry they didn't put 10 doctors down they only put one it's twenty thousand of y'all sitting here trying to get over here i mean a tough I mean, it just it is what it is. I don't. I don't think it's no crisis though. I, I think it's always been the same forever. Well, and it's been bad forever. Oh, and it, it need to be. It need to be. I mean, for whatever There's you no want to call it, that. drugs, uh, leaving your own country to come here, man. And and, and if you believe, what in do it, we start running to Canada? What do you think they're gonna do? Oh well, that'd be a different story. You know, and what do we start taking drugs into the in, in there? And but. Well, all I'm saying is, man, if you believe in the, in that government conspiracy, they're the ones letting drugs through and all that. They want the border like it is. You think so? Yeah, I, I do. But I just th- I think it can be in a lot better shape and a lot. It should it, it should be a better thing. I, I'm man. And go- then let, let's let's be real about it. Who are we gonna get to fix that shit down there? It's gonna be a job. It's gonna be gonna federally be a, contracted. Gonna be a bunch of mess for some people. country that. <laughs> gonna be a bunch of Mexican people down there fixing doing all the while. fixing. Yeah, exactly. No, way come on, dog. Ain't nobody he gonna get some redneck country. They gonna come not from gonna West happen. Virginia or Kentucky. Not gonna happen, nigga. Are they you not. serious? You think he's shutting the government down so he can go hire some Mexicans to put the wall up? The hey, block the- he already said they're gonna build it and pay for it. No, but now he's kind of switching that. Talking hey, about he switched a lot of shit for it through some type of don't uh, shit uh, out here get built without with. Mexicans nowadays. Nothing. It do. Well, uh, then they everywhere. They I don't are. care what you talk about. There's things that get built without Mexicans. We was in Minnesota. I seen them. Mexicans? Not a lot. I seen Ethiopians. They were there. Mexicans. They were there. Well, hey, listen. If the Mexicans build the wall, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> boy, you want to see some memes? They already they gonna have, arguments over They're going to have roast coaches selling tortilla and shit all up out of there. And leaving holes in it so Terezo. they can slide through. 
Nigga, they gonna they gonna be some fail. You know they got like tunnels and shit by the cartel. Already, yeah. yes. So how deep is it gonna go? Exactly. All right. Exactly, dog. No, this is this is some pipe dream ass shit, and I don't get it. Well, I do want to see how this shit's gonna turn out. Five five nine eight two five seven four six eight five five nine eight two five. Shot is the phone number. Oh, I got a uh a request. What you got from from no shit? Shout out to no shit. She uh fuck with the show now. Okay, no, no shit. Yeah. All right. Spelt spelt the uh, N O way. Okay. And uh, she's like, man, I'm trying to get the the uh, number to the show, but reset it so fast. Really? <laughs> I can't catch it. Okay, well, 559-825-7468, 559-825-SHOT. He screwed and chopped it for you. There you go. Hold up, man. All right, so there's that phone <laughs> number. If you feel any kind of way about the wild, how do y'all feel? I know a lot of people that listen to the show is not from Texas, so y'all might not feel it should affect y'all like that. Yeah. But I hear nigga, it runs deep. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. I got an undocumented person that cleaned my house. Oh, and shit. I don't want him to go nowhere. Hey, you better tell Maria that whole little horses, nigga. I think, I say a niece, I think Asher said some kind of like she cleaned his house too. Yeah. And the BYT. Well, y'all, boy, y'all some <laughs> niggas, boy. What you look, y'all, man? I don't got to say housekeeping. Hey, she, she can, we can have her on the show. She'll be here tomorrow. Yeah? Nah, I'm playing. Okay. <laughs> See how she feel about your damn wife. I know. What do you think? Yeah. Well, we did have another lady that cleaned the house, and something happened where, I don't know, police. it was something about the police, and she was scared she was going to get sent back, so she stopped coming. <laughs> I don't. Something, my wife told me something. <laughs> something happened. I had to ask my wife she about it. She thought immigration was some, coming, some boy. Went on. She like, oh, that is don't funny. Go back anyway. Oh, Olive Mylan that we were getting done. Yeah, his wife. Okay. Yeah. Oh, see it. See, they coming over here being productive. And, I know. And y'all want to keep them out. I don't necessarily want to keep them out. I just think that this should be a process. To see, get. say pretty, nigga. It's, <laughs> okay. Come on, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Me, me, me got mucho trabajo in mi casa. Si. Si. That's all I know. Me si. Mucho comida. Pinocho. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't just know the dirty shit. Negro chorizo. No, negro chorizo. Yeah. Black sausage. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm saying this right. Uh, Centoya Brown. She was granted clemency. Uh, by the governor of Yeah, Tennessee. how about that? She did 15 years behind bars. Uh, she was convicted of shooting a man in the head at 16 years old. Appreciate you, Kim K. Yeah, I don't know. Did she have, I don't know if she did anything about it. I don't I, know. I, anyway. I, that's what I hear. She, that's who she was over there you know, fighting so she for. She re- originally re- received a life sentence. She would have to do 50 years before being eligible for parole. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, the family isn't happy, and I want to read more the about it. The family that. isn't happy? No. I want to read more about what they thought. But anyway, moving the on. The family of the girl that got out? No, the boy that got, the, the guy, Johnny. I forgot his name, Johnny something. Johnny, the, the Johnny one, Allen. The one that was hulling out. And the one that was, he, the one that was finna fuck her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hulling her? Yeah. And come on, dog. He was in the fuck shit. Yeah. Hey, get get him gone. Thin it up to her. He wanted to give him a little pussy. Yeah. <laughs> From, a little. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Like From that girl. 16 that, year old. Yeah, come on, man. R. Kelly. Hey. <laughs> Are we going to talk about that? I don't have it in here, but we can. Okay, okay. Uh, Centoria, I'm, I'm getting Centoria Brown. So she's granted clemency. Uh, 16, she lived with a man named Cutthroat. Cutthroat. And she was forced into po- uh, prostitution. Okay, man. How how did she end up with Cutthroat? Is she, it- she was adopted and ran away. Okay. And then she ended up with Cutthroat. How old was she when that happened? 16. And Cutthroat forced into prostitution. He said... So he, what she said in court was he said that some women were made to be whores. Okay. Yeah, I, and so they use that as defense to her hard upbringing and I guess, you know, her mental stability hey. at the time. Hey, man, there's a lot of hoes out there now. <laughs> and some of them just doing it for free. Yeah. Well, not, they ought to be getting paid for it. Well, Snapchat, they are getting paid. Uh, some of them are. Some you of them got to get touched. Uh, well, yeah, that's different. You're charged per minute. But all of us know hoes that come up, they just fucking everybody. Yeah. For free. Yeah. Come on, dog. That's what you coming up with this? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. part of her being paroled. Uh, neck neck to, bone was right. <laughs> What's his name again? Hey, look, y'all. T- <laughs> hey. 
At M O N T O Y I S K. Cutthroat. Yeah. <laughs> I call him neck bone. I think, you know, <laughs> Fliggity, his, uh, his, his mama boyfriend knew a dude named Cutthroat. Yeah. He said he had a gold tooth for every nigga he killed. <laughs> That's what he said. Come on, man. I'm telling you. That's crazy talk. <laughs> I'm telling you what he said. That's crazy talk. So uh anyway, <laughs> she has to do community service in, including uh community service with at use at risk youth. And she also has to get a job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what do you what do you thought? You think she deserved a second chance? Uh, at, at, yeah, I mean, she was in some some bad shit, man. Bad, bad situation. If, if she can if she can Especially correct she did herself 15 come, years. Yeah. And I, I've always been one of those ones, dog. That you know right from wrong somewhere around 10, 11 years old. Yeah, I do. So all the shit after that that you do, you knew kind of what you was doing. Yeah. You might not have been aware of the consequences to it, mm-hmm. but you knew you was fucking up. Yeah. And so, hey, man, she did her time. Yeah. Come on out and straighten up, young lady. Yeah, it's your shot. Quit yeah. fucking with neck bone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Well, listen. Uh, I, I, I agree with you in the fact that I do believe she deserves a second chance and I hope she does some great and wonderful things for uh for just for everybody involved for at risk youth. Uh, I think she definitely has a story to tell. Yeah. Uh I hope she can be a, a productive member of society. I hope she can get a job. I hope she can I don't yeah, know. She probably that, started out pretty rocky for her. And, and I know just I, I wonder why she was in there. It, I hope she can find a nice guy, still have trust in men. Yeah, to be able to enjoy that part at the circle of life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe she's not even too old to have her own children. Right, she she's still in ripe age, more yeah. or less. So I I hope I hope and I hope that works out. This is a I think it's a good story, a bad story turned good for this young lady. Uh, Where, where's old Nick Bone now? Who knows? He probably got another stable or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, Pippin ain't dead. It just went to the well. <laughs> Shout out to Sweet John. This nigga. Is, <laughs> he probably got a whole a whole brothel set up with cameras. Okay. Uh, I know CES is going on. Yes, it is. And I don't have any notes about it. I got a little news on Ooh, it. Oh, fuck, I do. But anyway, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, is held in Vegas every mm-hmm. year about this time. Right. And, uh, you know, in the past years, there's been a lot of TVs. You know, in, in in recent years, been a lot of voice assistants, Alexa, and Google, and all that. Yeah. And so it, this year's a lot more of that. You got you know TVs, of course, they rolling now. They're flexible. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think LG has one, and I know Samsung had one. But the, one of the new undercover hot things mm-hmm. that's that's popped up this year is smart mirrors. Smart. Really? It's where it shows like ticker tape of the news and gives you the weather. Uh-huh. Why you like brushing your teeth and doing your hair and stuff in the mirror? Really? Yeah, I, man. If I get me one of them, dog, I'm getting it. Really? Yeah, man. That shit is dope. Yeah, I uh, I had some shit that I want to talk about. This was like Amazon's uh more popular thing, uh more popular uh items that people are going crazy over. Oh, that, but they were at a okay. reasonable price, and one of them All was right. this this concoction that you. You kind of, because apparently when you shit, you're supposed to have your knees a little higher. Yes, it's called a poop stool or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so that was I'm one familiar. of the items. So it's like 25 bucks. Yeah, it's cheap. You yeah. know, I heard about the thing like two years ago. Did you? And so what I've been doing is standing on my toes when <laughs> I take a shit. I thought your legs dangling from the toilet. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, but Doom Team, boy, you full up today. Hey man, I'm just saying, dog. Short jokes, dog. <laughs> it's all right, man. Forty years old, man. I still get them. Well, you if, you know if you swing for monkey bars, it's supposed to make you taller. Oh, I was an expert at that shit. I'm just saying. I used to skip bars. Did you? Hell yeah, I used to skip bars on the monkey bar. All right, nigga. To the point when I was going to school with white people, I didn't know how they was looking at me. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, man. So we halfway through this abomination yeah. of a show. It's the shoot from the hip show. Shoot from the hip dot XYZ. The phone number is 559-825-7468. 559-825-SHOT. Huh. Hold up, screw. In my Ben Stein voice. Yeah. All right, man. Search Shoot From The Hip Show on all forms of social media. You can find pictures. You can find all kind of shit. You can find funny posts that we post for the week. You can give your opinion on it. Anyway, we're going to go to a break. We'll be right back. Yo. 
Listen, man, it's the playoffs. It, these are games are hard to win. It takes balanced teams. It usually takes great quarterback play, although Dallas won despite not having that. Um, but the one team I'm just over with is the Houston Texans. Um, I've never trusted them. But, I mean, I, the things I see with that team drive me crazy. Uh, Deshaun Watson picking up, trailing by three touchdowns, picking up a first down and signaling first down. Self-awareness, line one. J.J. Watt flexing after tipping balls, trailing by three touchdowns. Listen, you've been to the playoffs three out of the last four years, and you've been smoked all three times. Your only wins against Connor Cook, the Raiders' third-string quarterback. There's a reason the NFL puts you on the first game of the weekend on Saturday. They want to get you in and out of the playoffs as fast as they can. Give me a break. I just see too much ego, too many celebrations. You know, congratulations on a meaningless first down. You, you, come on. You're trailing at home by three touchdowns. There's always an excuse with Houston. J.J. Watt's not healthy. We don't have the right quarterback. Jadavian Clowney's not healthy. You had all three and you embarrassed yourself. I think, frankly, I'll go on the record saying I think the window's closed. I think it's over for Houston. Not because I don't like Deshaun Watson. This irritates me. He, I think he has a great potential. But the Colts have the better coach. Right now, they don't have as good a roster, but they've got the better quarterback, nine draft picks, $100 million in cap space, and the better general manager. I think this division is going to look a lot like Tom Brady's division the last 15 years, where the Colts are at the top of it, and then, you know, the Texans every few years will get in, and every few years Tennessee will get in, but Jacksonville needs a new quarterback. Tennessee does and doesn't know it, and I, I'm just not into the culture of the Houston Texans. I see a lot of celebration and a lot of flexing and a lot of this and a lot of that, and I'm just done with it. Ooh. Out? Yeah, I had comments that were similar to that that I was going to make prior to this break. Okay. I felt in my heart that we were playing with fool's gold. Mm-hmm. All that, ooh, I'm just give me that cake. Mm, I remember I said that. Yeah. I meant that. Yeah. I knew he was playing a, a pancake ass uh, uh, schedule. schedule. And I also knew that we were kind of backing into them wins a lot of times. Mm -hmm. I knew that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not hard for me to sit there and look at it. And so I think a lot of fans knew it because them coaches were getting hot. And he was like, man, I so hate to see them again. Yeah. We were all saying it. Well, the first one the coach gave to him. Yeah. yeah. And we, we all sitting here saying it. Yeah. And so, but as far as all the braggadocio shit and celebration, well, that's shit, what most teams do when they celebrate. I, I was gonna say that that's and not. And you get unusual. your emotions going. You're not supposed to. That's not unusual. I disagree with Kyle Hurd on that one. Yeah. As far as us being gone, yeah. no, he, no, he don't sound like some dude that actually watches the team. Right. The, uh, you you can accuse a lot of national media of that. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to hear that shit out of him. Boy, but show. but that other shit was accurate. Well, I, I just felt it, man. I, I just, you know, that's just one of the reasons why I was out. I, when I heard it, I'm like, see, he he get it. He get why I'm out. <laughs> he understands. Is that it? He understands why I'm out, why why I'm, I'm I'm done with the text. Yeah. Yeah. Great minds think alike sometimes. Man, really? Is, is you putting, you're lining yourself with cowherd on this one. Yeah, that's some, that's something. All right, like I said, some of that was accurate. Yeah. A lot of that was just sounding like somebody that don't keep up. Yeah. He saw a couple, two plays, and he tried to categorize the whole team as that. Or maybe he saw the last few years they went to the playoffs and lost. Well, yeah, everybody that watched playoffs saw that. Yeah. A bunch of teams go out. Mm. I'm sorry. I, I I don't take that as hard as maybe other people. Yeah. But uh, I don't. I, I hate to see them keep losing, though. Yeah. But as far as being mad at the culture and this and that and the other. Culture. Do, do, I can't do it. That culture ain't, ain't what it used to be. You don't think so? No, nah, I don't. Okay. I don't. I think. I, I think. think that I think it's changed. the same. I think the coaches are are, are different in personality. It just Bill O'Brien is a little more of a hard ass to the media, so it make it seem like he might just be a little tad different than some of the guys that kind of, you know, came before him. But I think it's still the same on Kirby. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's still the same. I think he cursed. Yeah. However. <laughs> Let's keep this thing moving. This is yeah. from the hip show, Montoya and Reese, and the second half of the show. Before we get into the first, we like to give you guys a chance to get it off your chest. Look how you got in there, Mike, man. Hey, man, look do, here. Do, do you even hear the difference yourself? No. 
That's what the problem is. Oh, yeah? I hear the shit. You hear? Yeah, I hear it. Man, you turn on my game. Nigga, you good now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Son of a bitch, man. Four years in it, y'all. Man, what the first was? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, uh, the first video. Video of voicemail. Video of voicemail. My bad. I'm tripping. First, first and only one, actually, comes from the eight tree. Hold on. I might be wrong there. It's slow loading. You know, I was mistaken. Same same place, different number. Okay. Come from the 281. Mm. My own backyard. All right. See what they got to say. It's your boy DJ, the DJ. What up, though? Hey, man, I wanted to call in and say something positive about my boy Reese. <laughs> <laughs> man, Reese is one of the most supportive guys that anybody could ever meet. Like, seriously, like, this is no joke or nothing, man. Reese supports my business, like, 100%. And I just want to be on record and say, man, I really appreciate it. I know everybody hit me and Reese go back and forth on our various podcasts and taking shots because we see the world different. But when it comes to certain things, we definitely disagree on And, um, man, he's so supportive. I just want to tell you, Reese, publicly, man, I really appreciate it. I really do. That being said, man, you know, Uh-oh. we got we got to be us. Uh, <laughs> the comments about people... You know, not helping people because their parents won't help them. Um, you, you yourself have documented in detail how your uncles and your uncles were there for you, you know, in your father's absence. And so you are a living testament to how that help, you know, can, can, can spawn something great. And you got greatness within you, and we see it all of the time, you know what I'm saying, in various ways, be it. Reese on podcast, you know what I'm saying? Reese the parent, Reese the husband, Chef Reese, you know what I'm saying? Like this big personality, this guy who's trying in various ways to inspire the world. And you're doing a great job of it. But man, it's because they helped you even when your parents, when your dad did, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm just saying, in contrast to the statement that you made earlier, if we help out those and we don't know how many great, how many other great people are out there that's going to be able to do something phenomenal well because they did see it help. All right, man. I'm out. Late. Late. Yo, yo, what up? DJ, DJ, what up, though, man? Look at that, man. Came in here with some positivity towards your boy. To set me up. Yeah, the, yeah, it sounded like the setup and let down. Yeah. A little bit. But it's all right. Well, I appreciate that, Set DJ. up for the spike. So starting from the beginning, uh, so I, I agree. He, he does great work. So whenever I can, I always try and big up somebody. Especially a black owned business. Man, I'm all about that. Yeah. So anytime. Just I don't can, let them throw a football. Yeah. 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 Right. I'm going to chop yeah, your yeah, ass it up. Is, right it's here. over for you then. Man. Yeah. So uh, so anytime I see that shit, I always share it. Uh, the the lady who did some of the designs in my house, I, I, I was talking to my wife. So I shared it. And then my wife was like, oh, he does do some good work. Yeah. You know, because I, I show it to her a lot. Because, you know, my wife, I was in a shit. She liked that kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> So I said, I thought about telling the designer that we hired about him to, you know, help get him some work yeah, and stuff like that. But I said, I didn't want to do that. Like, you know, I want it to be genuine. Organic. Yeah. I understand. So, and, and you know, reference to that. Yeah, I, I, I do admire your work. I see the shit you're doing. And if I can in any way help anybody, if it's some shit I believe in. Yeah. And if you're doing some dumb shit, I ain't going to fuck with it. But if I believe in it, I'm going to share that shit every time. And if I know somebody that's doing something great, then I'm going to help you uh, show your greatness to the world. Yeah, man. Uh, as far as getting help, that's true. I did get a lot of help from aunts and uncles. Uh, my brother, who I wasn't talking to a while, uh, you know, we had fell out, but he helped me a lot. And I believe that when you're within arm's reach of me, I, I will do the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, n- nephews, uh, nieces, uh, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of that, the the randomness of the uh, organizations and stuff like that. When I come, I'm just not going to be exerting a lot of extra energy in, in running to find somebody that I think needs help. When I can touch somebody, I very much will yeah. touch them in the best way that I can. Uh, but if you don't know them, fuck them. If I don't know them, right? Fuck them, shit. Exactly. But, but all of these uh, these organizations and this hypocrisy. And all these people starting these five hundred one c threes and shit like that. Each one, teach one. Yeah, I, pay I, it forward. I'm not into that, but uh, 
there there is for a, the youth in this golf organization that I'm part of. They were talking about that, and they was talking about that Stafford Stafford uh, reached out, and I think one of the uh, other schools uh, was Yates. Now I can I can I can deal I can do that. I'm yeah. at halfway and halfway out. But I still got my own kids to goddamn raise, yeah. and I and I believe in learning from your mistakes, and I believe if we keep coddling people that keep doing the same dumb shit, nothing to ever get. Just blame it on white people. Yeah, it'll be all right. Yeah. Dri- driving red trucks. Mm-hmm. You know, if and also, to get behind you. if if you do keep giving people food stamp, and I had that as one of my notes uh, for news was uh. Trump wants people to get a job. You have to get a job to to get food stuff. I think mm. something like that. But like, I, and I, I spoke on this earlier. Was well, two things with that. Uh, moving on from DJ's call. Appreciate DJ. Yeah, DJ. Appreciate Check it. out Paint Pal. The Montoya speak on it. Yeah, and I speak on it. And they yeah, do I great goddamn show. work. Uh, two things with food stamps. You can inspire people with help to make them help themselves, or you can. Show them how to fish. Is that what they say? Yeah, you can you can give a man fish, or you can teach him how to fish. Right, and so or you can just realize that they ain't gonna never be shit anyway, and just go on give them that there. Go oh, give them man. the government cheese hey. and lead their ass over there. Just realize and that they ain't gonna be shit. You can, and, and you know the older I get, dog, that's can, why I get. But you can see generations of motherfuckers that don't give a fuck. Hey, coming you know from the same lineage. Yeah. Like that motherfucker ain't got a shot. Now there's 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 anomalies. I don't know ain't shit families that come out of the the, the ashes yeah. and become a phoenix. Right. You understand? You want to help them. Yeah. Because they see the light. Mm-hmm. But if it's a bunch of ain't shit people, man, and you just wasting spinning your wheels trying to bring them along, you got to leave their ass where they at. Yeah. Fuck it. All right. Well, appreciate that call, DJ to DJ again. Uh speaking of DJ, uh, this is a great segue into Eminem. Uh, there is an article I came across. That said, Eminem, as in the rapper or the or the candy, the culture vulture. So the candy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ty. It's time for some fuckery. <laughs> All right, so I came across the article that said Eminem sold more records than any other artist in 2018. He was followed by a Korean boy band named BTS, which I thought was behind the scenes of porn. <laughs> That's what it is. You thought of BDSM? No, no. BTS means behind the scenes. Oh, okay. In porn. Okay. Yeah. That's a Korean boy band. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get back to this. So BTS means behind the scenes. In porn, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why do you know this? Never Cause... mind. Let's keep going. Let's... <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, like in sports. Yeah. Let's, let's bring it back to sports Yeah bring it back to sports So like sometimes You can get like The culture view You can get an inside view yeah. On how what's transpiring Or something like The game plan Right So if you want to get Behind the scenes The game plan There you go Of uh Clean it up nigga Of black.com <laughs> Dirty back up Of nigga. Brazzers God damn Then you can go to BTS Do BTS Yeah And Okay so number two Three on this list. I'm getting PTSD. A record sold, Chris Stapleton. That's the guy, with Tennessee Whiskey. Yeah, yeah, for me. Now, number one in total consumption was Drake. Wow. Yeah, which I'm not surprised. He got a, a lot of hits in clubs. Hey, man, they, they, man, they, they, man, he had some five tracks on there. That's what they say. And I've been listening to a few of them. Man, been a while since I've done it. All right, moving on to Drake. Uh, there was a video released to him kissing an underage girl on stage. Oh, Dragon. Time to drag him, me too. It happened. Don't let him slide, y'all. Yeah. Where y'all at? So this is some old video footage that pulled up. And he they he when he when he found out, I think he continued to kiss her. Now, did you see it? No. So he found he he found out he asked how old she was or something like that. And how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you having a ball, huh? You had anything to do? Get his ass. Go get Drake. That's what they trying to do. Go get him. I, I, so when I initially heard about it, I was like, uh-oh. Then I seen it, and I ain't feel so bad. No. I just didn't. She just like any teeny bopper meeting her. She, if, 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 I could see her even lying, but she did shave. I think so he kissed her on the forehead 
Oh, he was easing to it. He, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, I didn't. He ran it down. I didn't really get mm, nothing. You like this here? I didn't. How about a little low? But what I did not get was peck on the nose. I, I didn't. I did not. I didn't feel uh, like he was a pedophile after the fact. I think it was a fucked up moment a little bit. You need to go watch this, and if y'all want to watch it and give us a call, I didn't. I didn't feel R. Kelly. I thought with the R. Kelly thing, they went looking and they found this. Yeah. It's just like uh, I think Charlemagne uh, moving on to more of this bullshit. Charlemagne, uh, somebody went. He he spoke on the R. Kelly situation. He was in the documentary. Oh, so 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 I I knew that there was there were certain artists that didn't want to be involved with it, right? Because they spliced the shit to talk about the man's genius and not about the fuck she was into. Did they? So, I, I have saw, not seen. I it haven't yet. seen it, but I heard it. That kind well, of I've thing seen, was going I've heard on. Several people been commenting on it, and I, I really don't. I don't care who was with it, who was against it. I don't. It's like you have emotions. It if you if if somebody tell you something about me, you not you gonna be like, okay, well that happened. But I I know at least I would think you'd be like, well, hold on, before I make a, an opinion, let me tell you what I do know. Let me defend my friend's honor yeah. at first, right. And then you find some more shit out. Okay, well, I changed my mind. Yeah. I know he ain't shit, so, I mean, fuck it. I mean, but we had some good times together tonight, man. Hey, that is. Shit happens. Hey, I moved on. So, I mean, to get a, another celebrity's, uh, uh, you know, a pat on the back or stamp of approval does nothing for me. Yeah, don't worry. And, and I hate when they put them in these situations. You hey, know? worst politicians, they do it all the time. That shit is fuck, man. Like, so-and-so endorses so-and-so, yeah. and it means something. Pick a side. Pick a side. Yeah. Hurry up. You got to pick one. So what did Charlemagne say? Well, anyway, the, the problem with Charlemagne, what they dug Charlemagne. up- Charlemagne. They, they dug up a tweet from 2010, which I'm like, that's a lot of hard work. If no crime was committed when he made that tweet, I don't care, man. It's old, man. People make fucking unpopular jokes all the time. You know, unless you're found to be a, a murderer- or you was in the clan yeah. and they got you with your hood on. But even so still, you can still change as a person. Yeah. You can mature. You you know, if, if me and you are stuck in our own world and we make comments, we do shit, but fuck, we get educated, we get a new job, we get more money. Yeah. We're exposed to different things so you can change as a human. That's correct. So anyway, so anyway, Charlemagne the God, uh, which he spoke vi- uh, 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 a lot on. Charlemagne. Yeah. <laughs> he, he he spoke on uh this issue he had with this young lady back in the day all right uh he spoke on it in detail and uh you know a star uh he interviewed this young lady not the one that got raped at his party You're right that okay. girl yeah he interviewed her he talked about it in his book okay you heard so you heard him talk about it yeah Okay, so because I'm interested in what you what you hear after this. So then, uh, Hassan Campbell, this guy, he's another guy. He says some great and wonderful things. He he does. I'll, I'll admit that. But he seems to come out and he's outing everybody and he's talking about people all the time. Yeah. So I don't like people like you're the Mister Out Man or you the one who's standing up for some shit. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. always got an opinion on when somebody is uh uh wrong or. Let me tell you what they did. Yeah. Like, nigga, people make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how many people probably went in on Centaurya Brown before, you know, she get clipped? Like, people change. But anyway, he he filmed this video, and he he shared it on his YouTube page. Hassan Campbell, he got a video. I don't know if it's been removed, because Charlamagne has been really swift with his attorneys on yanking shit <laughs> oh, yeah. down. Yes. So he he flaming Charlamagne. Well, he's flaming Charlamagne. This is a movie. It's a documentary done about what happened that night. Okay. And so... I don't agree with it because it's old and it's over. Yeah. Like it, if you're innocent, it, it, you're innocent, there was a minute when it popped you, you back cannot, up though. Yeah, especially when he dropped that book and talked about it. Well, but the thing is, like, okay, I'm innocent. I cop the plea. Whatever. It was. It was good enough for me to walk at this time. So now you want to bring it back up? You know what I'm saying? So I can get fucked over this time, hey, man. Nah, fuck that. I, I'm not with that. And I don't like a lot of the media fuck works shit. these days. I believe it kind of is karma, but I also believe. Once you send us for some shit, man, it got to go, man. It's time to change. Hey. You got to switch. Di- uh, we have to switch directions because every you just cannot ever work. Just like some of this NFL shit, you know. Sometimes when you you, you would you just not work again, you know what I'm saying? You you can't ever have a career. Hey man, people are judgy, yeah. and they feel good when they have this 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 self imposed uh, 
Uh, what's the word? The danger in Charlemagne is the business he in and what he's made a living off of is it, smashing. Moral people. high ground is what I was looking for. They have a self imposed fictional moral high ground when they find out some shit, re- regardless of how old, about somebody they perceive more, uh, far more high profile than they are. Yeah. So, yeah, man, it's gonna be a lot of that. You know, the the whole crab in a barrel thing. That's what that is. Yeah, pretty much. You know, so. And I, and so and social media makes people touchable now. Yeah, and, but her her, her mom. Th- this the thing. Th- this the thing that this whole thing. And I wish we had more time. We got to get the wrap up so you can get up out of here. But just just to sum this up, this he came to this woman's house, and I know this happens a lot in small country towns. She was fifteen. He was eighteen. Ding. <laughs> you let your your you know and then where's her friend? I use my ding for that. Yeah, I'm just saying like, come on, man. Now all of a sudden, you the the, the mom is on this documentary. She's boohooing and she just don't understand. And oh, and and, and all of a sudden, she said Charlemagne made her take this drink. Like I, you went to a party with adults. Yeah. I, I, me and my wife got to arguments about this last night. Yeah, and it was about these R. Kelly women, and I'm like. If, if, if you women and listen real goddamn good, oh here you go. You do not go backstage with a man underage, a, a celebrity, adolescent. Period. A, a, adult, young kid. You shouldn't be at the concert by yourself anyway. You 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 don't. Any celebrity, any athlete, he wants to fuck you. Period. I'm not finna sugarcoat the shit. It, that's it. He wants to have sex with you. He's not gonna like you after that night because he gonna go to the next. He gonna fuck somebody else. Okay. That's it. Stop doing it, man. You you no. If you know somebody is is is, is, is you give some man some ass and you get the part in the role, you you know what you're going to do. Hey, you win. You, you came won. five years later. Oh, this you just use the worst what you experience. had to get what you want. Yeah, like come on, man. You got to go. Uh, yeah, it's getting right up here. All right, we dog. getting up in there, man. Old ranting ass. Well, I want to talk about Jeff Be- Bezos. Yeah. So his company is worth eight hundred and ten billion. Uh, and who's the, the he, uh, he's owner? 40 mi- uh, Amazon. He's Amazon. forty million, forty billion dollars richer than Bill Gates. He's the richest man in the world. He finna go through a divorce, and he live in Washington, where it's a fifty-fifty state. Yeah, yeah. Seattle is the home of that place. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. That's yeah. the place. He started his online bookstore in his garage. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, you ready to wrap this thing up? Yeah, we can wrap it up. Let's man. wrap it up. This is the shoot from the hip show. Montoya's and Reese shoot from hip dot xyz is the website. Send us an email if you don't want to use that phone number. I said it real slow, so if you do want to use it, <laughs> you can get it. But shoot from the hill one at Gmail is the email. Uh, check us out on Twitter. We're both on Twitter with our uh, with our show uh, tw- uh, handle, and we both have our own individual. And if you search the shoot from the hip show or shoot from the hip show on Facebook and Instagram, we are also there. You yeah. got anything else you want to add? Uh, yeah, y'all heard all that shit Reese was just spewing just now. Make sure if you send any hate mail to the show, you mm. make sure you say his name. Oh, nigga, that first half you, you put was that on shit fire. on the Montoys. Nah, fuck all that. <laughs> this is shoot from his yeah. show, man. We appreciate y'all listening. We appreciate that shop on uh, the Apple Podcast uh, app. We appreciate that. We see y'all again next week. This is shoot from the hip show. Yo. Do out the roof. Do out the roof. Do out the roof. Do out the roof. It's time, come on. Ooh, what? Ooh, North side, side, come on. Ooh, come on. Ooh, East side, side, come on. Ooh, come on. Ooh, South side, side, come on. Ooh, come on. Southwest side, side, come on. Ooh, come on. Ooh, Most side, city, come on. Ooh, come on. Ooh, what? Ooh, it's time, come on. Ooh, what? Um, big time, come on. Ooh, what? Don't bite. Don't bite.